Welcome back to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today we are talking about the ominous, daunting face rigging um, using pose morphs in Cinema 4D, which uh, I'll be honest, is I was scared of that for a long time. Um, the more research you do on character rigging or face rigging, the more scary it seems. But um, I'm going to show you just pretty quickly and easily how you can do some face rigging, basic face rigging. It may not get to the point where you're um, you know, synchronizing an audio track to one of your animations and making a Pixar level animation, but it'll set you on your way and it'll help you identify some techniques to uh, to good uh, not just face rigging, but also to other other ways and styles in which you can animate your project. So, first thing I'm going to do is inside your content browser in presets and sculpting, you've got a bunch of these base meshes, um, and you should have these some animals and some faces um, and we're just gonna work with the female generic bust here bring that in and it's obviously really generic no hair no eyeballs anything like that but um, how do we make this female bust have the ability to you know control a smile or control some different facial expressions um, and it's actually really easy um, under female bust it's grouped there's the base mesh here um, all we're going to do is we're going to add a pose morph tag to that. And we are going to enable the points mode on that. Um, in doing so, we've got a base pose, and then we've got pose.0, which is the pose that we're creating from the base pose um, for this model. And in order to get started, we're going to go into the sculpting layout. And we're going to just zoom in on the face. And we're going to grab the grab tool, ensuring that we have symmetry on on the Y and the Z so that every side of the face we pull is going to do it on both sides. And depending on what you want to do for settings, I like to keep them a little bit bigger because you don't want to have such a small setting that when you pull something, it's you know going to break the mesh. Um, you want to keep it probably over 50 on this. And we're just going to start pulling the face to kind of make what would look what a smiley face would do so first the obviously the lips are gonna curl um, the nose is gonna go up a little bit around the edges the bottom of the eyelids are gonna lift and maybe we'll go down a little bit below 50 for that the brows are gonna lift uh, maybe even the tips of the ears will go up a little bit and the cheeks will kind of swell out just a little bit okay so that's kind of basically what happens when you smile um, you know I'm no smile expert but I think everybody knows generally what a smile looks like hopefully <laughs> um, so once we've done that uh, we're just gonna go back to startup or standard it doesn't matter which one and we're gonna click on our pose morph tag again and we're gonna go over to animate and here's our pose with 100% there and this is now a slider that will animate the face how easy was that how cool was that and obviously this is, can be animated we can hit record slider we can go to the 90th frame go to 100% and record slider and we've got a smile going on there um, so how do you do it now with your own model? Because there's a couple of little things that you want to know in order to do it. So I'm going to get rid of that female mesh. And I'm going to just bring in a sphere. Let's make like a, a smiling sun. Or maybe like if you guys remember the, uh, the raisin nets or whatever. Back in the day they had these faces on them. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just going to take my sphere, I'm going to add a couple more segments to it, and I'm going to make it editable. Now we're going to start in the sculpting layout, and we're going to actually create the face here. So I'm going to first just subdivide it a couple times. And we're going to use the pull tool, and I'm going to start by making some eyebrows here. I'm going to subdivide it again. I'm going to pull out a nose. And again, notice how I have symmetry on. Very key if you want to make a face that looks normal at all. Here's my nose. 
And then I'm going to make the lips to my mouth. Just for right now, I just want them to protrude. Um, let's go back up here and mess with the eyebrows a little bit more. All right, so those are my protrusions. Let's subdivide one more. So here's all the, the number of levels of subdivisions we've done. We're only at level two. We're at 6,000 polygons. We're at 1.4 meg size. So, you know, we're getting bigger. And this is going to take it up quite a bit larger, but we're not going to need to go much further than level three here. Now what I like to do is grab the knife tool and I'm going to cut out my mouth a little bit and just kind of get in there. And then if you're going, if you want to add eyeballs later, um, we're going to carve out a place that we can insert these eyeballs. And the same thing, we'll do a little bit more touch up with the eyebrow and the nose will be made to look a little bit more inviting and not so weird. But no matter what, you're gonna have a pretty creepy looking face here. I mean, you're, you're working with a clay skeletal weird looking thing. Maybe this guy's got some, some hair or something and even some, some ear action going on, but whatever. Don't need to get too carried away. So we're done there. Let's subdivide one more time to take us to level four. And then we've got a very smooth looking um, piece of clay here. I'm gonna head back into my um, startup. And what you'll notice is there's this little sculpting tag that's still attached to our sphere. If you get rid of it, you've lost everything. So we obviously can't get rid of it. But the other problem is, is that while that is on the sphere, you can't add, you cannot work with pose morphs yet. So what you can do to preserve that, um, and this isn't the polygon saving mode, but this is just an easy mode to get started if you don't have too much in your scene, is you can go into, by double clicking on the sculpting tag, um, you can look at all of our progress that's gotten us to that fourth tag or uh, level. And then what we can do is we can just create a polygon copy of it and I'm gonna turn off my original sphere and now I've got something that I can edit so now we're ready we have the same process we're gonna go pose morph um, sculpting and let's create a smile oh wow look at this happy weirdo that we've created I mean super weird Tips of the ears, maybe. A little furrow there. Um, this actually looks exactly like me, so that's... I shouldn't call him too weird. Um, Alright, so there's our smile. Go back into startup. Click on our tag. Oh, I totally messed it up. I forgot to hit points mode. I was just doing that to test you guys. Um, so... Let me undo my weird smile here and get back into that base uh, base pose there in our startup, add our tag, make sure that points mode is on, and now we will go into the sculpt mode and we will pull out that weird looking weird looking smiley face something like that whatever and coming back into our tag go to animate boom wow is that scary and so we're gonna just kinda animate this scene really quickly um, we'll add like a floor and a light oh that's creepy right the uh, lighting underneath the face. Wow. Um, and then we're going to go into our tag. We're going to record a slider at zero and record a slider at 90. And we'll make sure our lights shadow maps are on. And then we'll add a camera. So let's just like have the camera move here. Um, let's go there. We're going to just keyframe out the X, Y, Z and the rotation on it. And then we'll go over to 90 and just.
just like center it. It's a slow little move here. And we'll keyframe all of these as well. Whoops. So, look at that, huh? Whoa, is that creepy. And if we output it really quickly to all frames, let's see what we got here. Yeah, we'll continue without saving. I don't want to save this creepy thing. Alright, we finished our output. We'll take a look at what this looks like here. Oh my god, is that creepy. How about that? Anyway, thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. Um, so this is just, the, like I said, this is just the beginning of animation. Um, this, can be, this is great for creating some face rigging, but it's also something that can be used for um, creating other animations, which we'll show you more of in the next couple tutorials. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, stay tuned and please subscribe.